Hey, 4 by e fans, it is Thursday, June 13th, and um, I'm taking a rather impulsive uh, trip this morning. I'm, I'm going over to uh, Redbird, uh, what's it called, Redbird State Park. I'm going to go over and hit the uh, Batch of Honor Trails there this morning. I live in southwest Ohio, so I'm heading west on I-70, and I decided, hey, like many trips before, why don't we do a cast mileage experiment in the uh, Wrangler 4xe? So I have a 21 Wrangler 4xe. There's a lot of conversations in the forums and the Facebook fans group or the Jeep 4xe fans group. And uh, if you uh, have been around the 4xe community, people talk about gas mileage a lot. And uh, I always think it's important to put the little asterisks when you talk about gas mileage in a hybrid vehicle. You have to account for the electrical energy that you're using. That's a side note unrelated to this video, but a lot of people like to say, hey, I'm getting such and such gas mileage because of the gauge on the dash, and that's what they're going off of. And if you've watched any of my previous videos where I do any gas mileage experiments, you'll know that that gauge isn't exactly the most trustworthy. And uh, that, that's true if you're in e-save especially. It seems to not be able to account for the fact that you're in e-save. I don't, I don't understand why. It'll actually show you you're getting way better gas mileage than what you really are. Uh, in a recent conversation, this is where this video comes into play. You can go back. I'm going to put a link wherever it is in the corner to uh, a playlist of, of gas mileage experiments I've done before. But in this video, I want to do an experiment with eSave uh, set to battery save in the Uconnect. If, if you don't know where I'm pointing, I'm pointing towards my Uconnect. And I've gone into the hybrid screen and I've set it to battery save at exactly 50%. Now, in past experiments, what I have found is that in hybrid mode, that gets you your best gas mileage. You let the electrical energy uh, slope off. You go down to the less than 1% state, and if you drive in that mode on long trips, that gets you your better, best gas mileage. E-Save really kills gas mileage. But in a recent conversation with a few people, some people thought that keeping it in E-Save but battery save would be the exact same as if you were in hybrid mode at the less than 1% state. But I, I'm holding to the theory, based on past experience, I'm holding to my theory that uh, it actually drives the gas mileage down in E-Save. And that gets into the battery curve. If you aren't familiar with battery curves on uh, batteries, um, they different batteries have different kinds of charge curves and discharge curves. And uh, if you get into electrical theory um, and electronic theory, there's, there's uh, the battery when it's at a higher charge point, uh, consumes more power, and it uses more power to uh, to charge at those upper parts of the charge curve than it does down the lower. And uh, I, I'll spare you the whole theory. You can look up battery charge curve on, on Wikipedia or something and they explore it. It's really interesting. But my, my premise is that uh, being in battery save at like 50%, it's still going to be worse gas mileage than if it was just in hybrid mode at the less than 1% state because of that battery curve. Because the system's having to work harder to maintain battery charge at that level than it would down at a lower level. So we're going to give this about 75 miles or so and uh, pull off. I filled up right before I got on the highway and, and put it in battery save at 50%. So we're going to give this... Uh, I'm going to try to go 90 miles because I've got about 190 miles and I think I can split this trip in half. I'm going west on 70 from Ohio to Indiana, so it's relatively flat the whole time. And uh, if there's any wind direction issues, it should be relatively the same. Now, of course, it's 6.30 in the morning, and so the air, the air pressure is going to be different as the temperature climbs this morning. But it's not supposed to be too much of a hot day today. So I think uh, the variables will be minimal in the second part of this test where I'm gonna stop and fill up and um, I, at some point I'm gonna spin off these 50 miles that are on here 
and um, may, and then maybe stop and fill up or something. I'll figure out how to how to work those those uh, not 50 miles, nine miles is what I have. It's at 50 percent, but I'm going to spin the electrical energy off and then uh, base my next leg of the experiment on just being in hybrid mode at less than one percent. So uh, stay tuned. Uh, this video might get a little bit long as I explain all this stuff. I hope it doesn't bore you too much. And uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for taking a part and uh, heading to Indiana. See ya. Hey, so it's a little later in the morning and I actually ended up going 112 miles, even though I was shooting for 90, but I wanted to get through Indianapolis and get through that rush hour traffic as I'm heading west. And uh, so I went 112 miles and uh, just filled up out here. I got, um, how many gallons of gas did I get? I got uh, 5.874 miles, or gallons, eight, 5.874 gallons and uh, in the 112 miles. So, and I'm looking at another, I'm looking at my other phone here where I've got fuel uh, picture of my fuel results. Went 113 miles, um, well, 112, 112.7 and use 5.874 gallons. So that comes out to 19.2 miles to the gallon. Not bad considering I was running e-safe. Um, through Indianapolis, it was backed up and I was traveling a little bit slower, but I, I had this cruise control set at 70 for the bulk of that. So um, it, my dash actually says that I got 22.2 miles a gallon, but the actual miles per gallon was 19.2. That's that's why I say sometimes you just can't trust what the dash says. So I'm gonna spin off, I maintained, well, it's at 49% right now, but I maintained some of the, um, at that 50% charge, and it says I have nine electric miles. So I'm gonna spin those off just to get rid of them and get them out of the equation and then allow, uh, I'm going to reset my trip odometer at that point, uh, rather than um, what I normally do is, uh, is I uh, reset it every time I get gas. Actually, what I'm going to do is reset my A trip odometer for this. And, um, and that way we can get a true accurate reading of what the dash thing it's getting versus what it'll actually get when I'm in hybrid mode. So, uh, so like I said, I'm going to spin off these nine miles and we'll pick up the video here in a little bit. All right. So here's what I did. I, I spun off that nine miles that I had and uh, reset my A trip odometer. I'm at less than 1% on the battery and just running straight hybrid mode this time. I've only got about 75 miles to go until I get to where I'm going. Uh, I'm hoping that'll be enough to get a good sample. I wanted it to, to be kind of more even. Um, the terrain is pretty well uh, flat. Like I said, I'm going through Indiana, and um, the temperature, it's only 72 degrees, so it's not that much warmer than when I started, and uh, I think all the conditions are pretty much the same as they were earlier, and I'm, I don't anticipate getting any big hills or anything, so it should be a pretty good test to at least get a pretty good uh, level reading between the two and uh, we will see at the other end of this uh, 75 miles or so. All right, here I am almost to my final destination, the, the uh, off-road park I'm going to here in Indiana, Duggar, Indiana, I think is where I am. And I filled up at the closest gas station I could get to. I only ended up doing, um, what did I end up doing? 64 miles after spinning off the um, nine electric miles that I initially had, I actually went 73.3 total miles, but I'm subtracting those nine to make the numbers right to the experiment that we're doing in going in just hybrid mode. And so uh, after subtracting those miles, I went, um, actually ended up, um, the dash said I got 24.8 miles to the gallon. That's a little, a little off because my actual miles to the gallon was 23.1. If I left those nine miles in, it would have skewed the numbers and it would have been like 26 miles a gallon. But um, as it worked out, I got 23.1 miles of the gallon in hybrid mode. So 23.1 compared to 19.2. I know that's not a drastic difference, but that is a difference. You know, that, that shows that that battery curve makes a difference 
in uh, in how the vehicle uh, has to work harder to maintain the charge at that uh, 50% point. And um, I think it just kind of proves the point. Now, I wish I would have had at least 100 miles. Uh, you know, that, that would have been nice, but I didn't break it up right. But um, I think that's enough of a sampling to see that there definitely is a difference between just running in hybrid mode on long trips compared to using e-save and hold because the system's having to work. Not only work, it, not only can it not work down in that lower charge curve range that it gets to at around 15%, but it has to work to, to keep constantly recharge and keep the battery at that at that point wherever you hit the e-save button and in this case it was 50 percent so uh 19.2 compared to 23.3 miles a gallon that's significant enough to me to say yeah it, it still doesn't work out it, even in e-save with battery save in the uconnect it it just still doesn't work out that you're going to get any kind of better gas mileage using e-safe so thanks for being a part of this uh, little experiment take care